Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and yes, it's been a minute, but boy oh boy do we have some updates for the car market. Before we get into this video though, as always, link to my car buying guide in the description down below, and then some of the information comes from Cox Automotive. Let's get right into it. The retail car market is pretty hot right now, and I think it's something that's fascinating, and we gotta talk about it. So, let's first talk about the numbers. Now, August was a pretty solid month, um, not as strong as initially expected. Um, the estimate is 1.42 million units. They thought it was gonna be 1.44. Now, the reason why they had such a strong estimate in terms of sales volume with new cars in August is because of the long weekend for Labor Day sales. They expected that to really boost things for August, and it did a bit, not as much as expected. Uh, the pacing number now is 15.4 million units, which is up slightly from August of last year, but it's down from July, which was at 15.8 million for the pacing. So again, this continues to show a little bit of softness, even when we've got good months in the car market. Um, now, with that being said, with the extra selling days and all that in August, you know we're gonna have more volume this year than what we had last year, and that's why we got a bigger pacing number. So basically what's happening in the new car market is sales volume has increased slightly, and this is mostly because of retail sales. So fleet sales are down. They're only 11.6% of the market share. Last year, they were 16%. And so the fact that we're seeing about the same amount of car sales this year as last year shows the strength in the retail market, not in the fleet market. The fleet market is not going to carry the car market like it did last year. We'll come back to the new car market but before we do that, we've got to talk quickly about the used car market. Wholesale values in August increased by a pretty substantial margin. Uh, so 1.2% month over month uh, when you look at the seasonal adjusted value, non-adjusted 2.2%. So if you look at the adjusted year over year decline, it's 3.9%. Non-adjusted is 4.6%. So this shows that the used car market is holding steady at this point. Again, slight increase in August, but we'll probably have a slight decrease the next few months. Again, I can't predict the future, but that's what it's typically kind of been doing this year is like we have an increase one month and we have a decrease the next month, and then increase and then decrease. It's, it's a little bit of a roller coaster, but this shows a strength in the overall car market because at the same time that we're seeing retail sales increase in terms of volume in the new car market, we're seeing wholesale use prices increase. And Right now, I'll tell you the reason why we're seeing these wholesale prices increase is because more people are buying used cars. And so the supply is shrinking, demand is there, it's really strong. So supply and demand means that prices are going to go up. They're not going to go through the roof, but they are remaining quite steady. And so now I want to kind of bring everything together and talk about what is happening in the car market as a whole. So. Although these numbers might look promising on the surface, especially for the new car market, right? You hear that we have a volume increase year over year. They're still pathetic compared to historic norms. And when you compare it to inventory levels, dealerships are still bursting with inventory. Obviously there are some manufacturers like Toyota that still have pretty minimal inventory, but across the board, dealers have a lot of inventory. And the only reason why they're selling cars right now it's because they're heavily discounting them. When I go anecdotally and talk to dealers, they tell me that the only way that they're getting a lot of these car deals done is through huge discounts, uh, manufacturer incentives, lease deals, cemented rates. Like they basically have to buy customers right now. That is what is currently happening in the car market. And so that's why I say that the car market is really weak because not only are dealers having to literally bend over backwards to convince customers to buy a car right now, they're doing so at much lower volume numbers compared to what the US market saw prior to the pandemic. Like we're seeing pre-pandemic discounts, but we're not seeing pre-pandemic volume, right? So hopefully that makes sense for all of you. And I think that frankly, it's just because new cars are slightly overpriced still. And this is what I hear from people when I talk to them, this is what I hear from dealers is they feel like the prices are still just a little bit too high on most models. The manufacturers need to come down five to 10% on most cars. Some cars a little bit more than that, but a lot of cars, if they're just five to 10% less expensive, they would be selling so many more of them. And this also explains the rush to the used car market because there is a need for cars, right? People you know, get in situations where they need to buy a new car, their car just doesn't fit their needs anymore or you know, is breaking down, whatever it may be. 
And because these new cars are still so high with their pricing, it's, again, like I said, propping up those values within the used car market, but it's also propping up volume. There are a lot of people that would be new car buyers if the new car prices were just a little bit lower. Like I said, five to 10% lower, and you would turn a lot of these used car buyers into new car buyers, but the price is just a little bit uh, out of touch for a lot of these people. And so that's pretty much what's happening right now. Let me know you guys think about this whole situation with the new and the used car market, but I think this is something that we should obviously continue to follow because uh, leading up to the election at the end of the year and all of that, so it'll be interesting to see exactly what happens to the car market. But I think with a lot of uncertainty in the air, it's going to push people away from buying a car unless they absolutely need to. See ya.